did God even put that tree in the garden? Hey, Higher Things YouTube theologians, Pastor Wolfmuller here, taking on some apologetic topics in the Old Testament. And here's another question that comes up. Why did the Lord even put the tree there? What, what's that about? Now, first, we got to be always very careful with why questions, because who knows the mind of the Lord that we might be his counselors? There's a danger in in trying to lift up our eyes too high rather than receiving what the Lord gives. But here's a few, if I could offer them, humble thoughts, I hope, on why the Lord, how the, how the tree in the garden fits with the rest of the Bible. Because the Lord we see in the scriptures always wants to be worshiped by faith. And remember that faith is different than sight. So that when we worship by faith, we're believing, we're believing that thing that we can't see. When we, for example, trust that our sins are forgiven, we look around and we're like, wait a minute, I see sins everywhere. Or when we trust that we'll live forever and we look around and we see cemeteries and graves, we're walking by faith, not by sight. That's how Paul describes it in 2 Corinthians. So how would the Lord set up a worship of faith in the Old Testament? When they look around, they see nothing but life, nothing but good. There's no evil. There's no death. So if the Lord wants to give them something to believe, the Lord has to kind of flip the promise. In other words, the thing that we believe is the good thing because we see bad things everywhere. The thing that they're supposed to believe is the bad thing because they see good everywhere. So that the Lord sets up this tree so that Adam and Eve can go to the tree and believe the promise of God on the day that you eat of it. Dying, you'll die. That's the double death, physical and spiritual, that would happen on the day that they find themselves eating the tree. We can maybe talk about the dynamics of that a little bit later. But this is the point. They can go to that tree and they can trust God without seeing it. And that's the point. Adam and Eve were never supposed to see death. They were never supposed to taste death. They were never supposed to know evil. They were supposed to believe what the Lord says, trust in him, and worship him by faith. That's my thought. Now, because we're on the other side of the fall, we're believing the good things and seeing the bad things. But still, we walk by faith and not by sight. Still, we trust the Lord. We're called to trust the Lord and to believe and worship him in this way. In fact, our Lutheran confessions say, in this way, the, desi the Lord desires to be worshipped, that we believe his promises and receive from him all good things. May God grant it for Christ's sake. Amen. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.